Welcome back students. I am Dr. Animesh Jai. In the last video, I am discussing about the structure and anatomical features of long bones. You know that the bone is classified into four main types, long bone, short bones, flat bone, and irregular bone. The basic example of long bone is humerus. The structure is already discussed in the last video. The next type is short bone. Short bone is generally cube shaped. It contains mainly spongy type of part. The basic example of short bone is carpal and tarsal. You know that for its positions and location of these bones. Short bones are mainly useful for movements of fine surface in the hands and legs. Third type is flat bone. These are thin and flattened type of bone, usually carved. Thin layers of compact bone surround a layer of spongy bone. The example is skull, ribs and sternum. If we look at the structural pattern of the flat bone and functional aspect, these are generally responsible for maintenance of the shape of the body. You have already observed the skull structure in your practical class. And I think you have got the basic idea of position, and structure, skull. Therefore, it is generally carved and flattened type. The basic component is both compact bone and spongy bone. Look at the difference between flat bone and short bone. Short bone are mainly spongy bone type, whereas Long bone consists of both compact and spongy bone. The fourth type is irregular bone. The name implies the irregular shape. It do not fit into other bone classification categories because these patterns are very much specialized for specific location. The bones which are present in the vertebral column and hip portion are under this classification. Vertebral column, in each segment of the vertebral column, which I've already observed in the practical class, Vertical column is divided into cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral, and coccyx. In each of the vertical column segment, the bone pattern is very much irregular. These irregular bones are aligned with different parts of the body. In thoracic cavity it is aligned with thoracic ribs. The surface feature of bone are responsible for attachment of muscle, tendons, and ligaments. 
these are helpful for the passage of nerve connections and blood vessels. Categories of bone marking is useful to grow out the bone surface at different dimensions. Depression or cavity are responsible for indentation. These cavities are specific area for the alignment of other bone parts. The next topic is the types of bone cells. Bone is composed of Generally, three types of cells. Number one, osteocyte, osteoplast, two, and number three, osteoclast. And another type of cell is also present in the fetal development, which is called osteogenic cell. These are mainly immature mesodermal cell which is converted into bone forming cell. The first bone forming cell which is developed during fetal development is osteoplast. Osteoplast is developed from osteogenic cell. These are mainly stem cells whose division produce osteoblast. After proper development of osteoblast to mature cell is converted into osteocyte. Osteocyte is the mature bone cells which is present in adult bone. In the last video, I have discussed about the pattern of the long bone anatomy. Here, within the lacunar region, the entrapped bone cell is termed as osteocyte. This is the actual matured bone cell, which are connected with the help of canaliculus in the matrix region. The third type of cell is osteoclast. These are generally immunologic cells or bone destroying cells. This is helpful for bone destruction. If any infection or other type of necrotic event is developed within the bone, osteoclast produce phagocytic effect and by the process of phagocytosis the cells break down the bone matrix and destroy the whole bone cell. It is helpful for remodeling and release of calcium from the bone matrix. Bone remodeling is a continuous event which occurs throughout the life. This process is under the influence of two basic hormones, parathyroid hormone and thyrocalcitonin. Also, sex hormone, especially estrogen, and progesterone indirectly responsible for bone remodeling process. This is the overall concept of bone classification, types of bones, and types of bone cells. I again repeat the concept of 
bone types. There are four types of bone, long bone, short bone, flat bone, and irregular bone. Long bone is located within the humerus, radius ulna, etc. Flat bone is located within the skull region. Short bone is located within the carpal and tarsal region. Irregular bone is located at the vertebral column. The last part which have been discussed here is the types of bone cells. Bone consists of four types of cells, osteocyte, osteoblast, osteoclast, and osteogenic cell. Osteocyte is the main bone forming cell or structural cell part. Whereas osteoblast is the developing cell. Osteoblast is converted into osteocyte after full maturation. This is the end of this topic for today. Thank you. Stay safe.